Probably the most fundamental change to the way that Creole Parametric behaves and operates since Wildfire 1.0 is the switch to geometry-based selection instead of feature or component-based selection. What I mean by that is when I hover my mouse over a model, you'll notice that surfaces and edges and vertices will highlight. If I switch over to an assembly, the same thing applies there as opposed to component highlighting. Let's go back over to the part model. And one of the advantages of geometry based selection is that it's going to reduce in significant less, significantly less eye strain than before. If you go to the lower right hand corner, this is where you used to have the smart filter as the default. If you click on the filter, it gives you a warning that the default selection is geometry. But by using the Alt key, you can get back to the previous method. So for example, if I hold down Alt, and hover my mouse over the model, you'll notice that I am getting features to highlight. Same thing applies in an assembly. If I hold down the Alt key as I'm moving my mouse over the model, I'm getting components to be pre-highlighted. Let's jump back over to the part. Another thing that you'll notice along with geometry-based selection is that when I select geometry with the left mouse button, you're going to get a mini toolbar that opens up. And this mini toolbar has three different rows. And the top row gives you operations that apply to the feature that owns this particular geometry. So for example, I can use edit, edit definition, edit references, suppress pattern, and so on. And I even have the ability to select from any of the different levels here. So for example, I can select the surface, the feature that owns it, and the part depending on what I want to operate on. The second row gives me different feature creation commands for that geometry. So for example, I can create different datums, and I can create sketches, extrudes, revolves, and so on. And the bottom row allows me to zoom to selected or view normal to that particular surface. If I hold down the right mouse button, I will get the mini toolbar and the right mouse button menu. And you have the ability to customize both right from the right mouse button. So for example, it shows me that I can add commands to a top row inside of here. It also shows me what commands I can add to either the right mouse button menu or the mini toolbar. So for example, let's say I wanted to grab the measure command. Let me locate it. There it is. I can grab the measure command and then drag it up to where I want it to appear in the toolbar and then click OK. And that way, when I select a surface, you'll notice that I have the command that I want. Be aware that you can also perform these customizations from File, Options, and then choose Shortcut Menus. And this allows you to select what uh, is currently active when you are getting either the mini toolbar or the right mouse button, and whether you are in regular modeling or uh, flexible modeling. And these changes that you make to the interface are automatically stored for you. If I go to my computer and in the bar here type in app data surrounded by percents, here we can go to PTC and then it's Pro Engineer and Wildfire and .wf settings. Here's my Creo Parametric customiza Customization .ui file and you can see that got stored at 617, right now it's 619. So any changes that you make to the interface are automatically stored in that file for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.